So, I understand this is a solar suitcase. It is a self-contained unit for uh, lighting. It's solar powered and you're taking it to Tanzania to install it in places where, in uh, clinics where they don't always have electricity at night. Right. So, show me how it works. So, you have to unlock the suitcase, and then open it up, unless it was already unlocked. Yep. This is the manual. Oh, did you see, I saw something in the manual Nathan noticed? Yeah, I talked to him about it. It's the same controller that we have at the cabin. That's why when we did the, um, the prepping, I actually really totally understood exactly what they were talking Like, they spent a long there time talking is. about the charge controller, and I already knew all about it because of the, it's the same charge controller we have. Well, did, were they impressed? I mean, I didn't say. I, yeah, I did say that I already had them, so I would say most like a know it all. <laughs> all right. So right up here in the I'm top of the panels, the most important part. solar panels connected together so that they lie like this. They're weather resistant and then the way they're installed is on a, condu on a conduit on the roof so we attach a conduit to the support beams on the roof. A conduit? You mean like a metal pipe? Mm -hmm. Metal pipes on the support beams on the roof and then these holes are used with metal zip ties to attach these. Where, to where are the pipes? Are they in the box? No, we have separate install materials. Ah. Uh. So these are attached with zip ties to the metal conduit on both sides. Okay. And then in the center, there'll be a hole drilled on the roof where this wire will be fed, threaded down. Uh, okay. And then we were taught as ambassadors special ways to install so that water doesn't run into this V because it was causing problems in the past. Uh-huh. And so, oh, this is like really important. We mount this in the clinic itself. Oh, so they can see. Mm-hmm. So they understand how it works and how to monitor when to be plugging things in and when not. It's really important for us to explain to them that during the day, the lights shouldn't be on and that's when you should be charging all of your appliances. Charge up your batteries fully. Charge up your cell phones fully. Hey, this is exactly like the one at the cabin. Yeah. The exactly. way it cycles through telling you the volts and the amps and the load. Mm -hmm, exactly. And then we tell them at night, don't charge your phones and appliances because you're not getting in current. You're not having any load. I mean, so you are having load and not solar. So then, yeah, we explain to them the three different outputs and what they mean, what the battery status means. Now the battery will be red when it's low, and they should protect it then, and it will blink red when it's drastically low. Yeah, we've and seen then, that. And <laughs> then, before it gets to be super dangerously low, it will the whole system will shut off. So Nathan was talking to me about that. It has a charge controller because these types of batteries, if it gets to zero, it will never recharge. So that's why if it's blinking after a certain point, the whole system will just completely shut down. So it has, I'll show you on the inside with this. So this whole thing was created by um, like a solar engineer who was the husband of this OBGYN and they started the company together. So I'm not gonna, this is just to protect the stuff inside. It's just empty. Yeah, you're gonna have to repack it. Right. I'll have to remember where everything goes. What's that you just took out? It's, I'll tell you in the end. It goes better at the end. So this is all stuff for mounting on the roof. See, these are the metal zip ties, the screws, all for the conduit and attaching the solar panels to it. Mm -hmm. There's some caulk. More stuff for mounting. This cable is the most important one. It's called the home run cable. So what happens is it gets attached 
Uh, these two get attached to these right. on the roof, and this gets run through the roof of the clinic down to the wall. We work with the people in the clinic and decide where the best place to mount this is. This entire yellow unit gets mounted on the wall. So we so this never moves. This part right here, that's what you were looking at in this, it never moves. So we work with the people in the this, clinic. This, that white box. Yeah, never moves. Right. So we work with the people in the clinic to um, to figure out where the best place is to put it so that um, well, we have to figure out the best roof positioning for the light and then also the best place where they're going to want the light access from, where the most important places for them to have light will be. So then once we figure out where to mount it, we run the home room cable along the ceiling and the wall and then it goes through the top right here. You can't see, but there's a little thing over here. Mm -hmm. And the home run cable goes in through there. Hold on, I'm going to put this back. I don't want to really take this apart too much. The home run cable goes through there. And then it connects right into here. The blue and yellow part of the home run cable goes into there. Okay. So once that connect is connected and locked in. And that's the battery in the white box. This white box is, this is the battery. This is the power switch, off and on. This is the output reader. These are the two lights. This is for another battery, could be attached if necessary. And then these two are for charging. So, there's, it comes with two lights, a bigger one and a smaller one. They look like this. Oh, LED lights. Right, they're LED lights. They last for about 10 years of light hours. They have this nice clip on them so that they can be clipped to the ceiling. Or this clip can be adjusted so that they can, you can, um, we can finagle it so that it, it has any angle they want. Right. The wire's pretty long. It'll go a really far distance from the suitcase. And these can be unplugged too. And separately, they have each have their own on switch and off switch. And are both lights the same? One's a little smaller. There's this one and then this smaller one. Uh huh. They both have the same hook. Actually, connected. one's twice as big. Right. Exactly. So. Just trying to keep this list. You can see that if I took all this stuff out, it would just be the white part in the surface. But I want to keep this nicely packaged in here. So then besides light, this is a battery, so it functions as a battery. It can charge devices also. So because this is all about clinics, well, the births, it comes with a fetal Doppler kit. Okay, we're getting to this. Yeah. What is a fetal Doppler kit? A fetal Doppler is a, like a, heart, a fetal heart rate monitor. Uh -huh. It works like an ultrasound, sort of. So it uses the same stuff as an ultrasound, a little like gel, and it goes on the baby, and it checks the baby's heart rate to make sure that you can hear the heart rate of the baby. Um, so that's a fetal Doppler. There's a small little one in this case. It comes with a little bit of gel, but when they run out, they can just use any oil. It just needs oil, and it's, this is what it looks like. So it's, It has a little strap. It has batteries that come with it that are rechargeable, and this is the little fetal doctor. And so they can use that. Good deal. And then, so that runs on rechargeable batteries. So that's what these are for. It can charge the rechargeable batteries. So whatever they're using that for charging needs to have one of those like um, plugs, like you Almost can like a car plug in a car outlet. Right. So I don't want to open this because it's taped shut. But okay. inside here is the as not only the rechargeable batteries. It's a normal rechargeable battery set, like you see at the store, the little box where you put the batteries in. But it plugs right into here. Uh huh. And then there's also a headlamp in here that takes the rechargeable batteries. So the rechargeable batteries, get, we explained to them, those are you're going to want to charge every single day when the sun's out. And then those can be used in the heart rate monitor and the headlamp. There's also a phone charger that plugs into here that has a Medusa that has like heads for every single type of phone possible, basically. And there's also a way to attach laptops to here, but we don't have that included in the one we have. So essentially, not only, so they charge up during the day, the whole battery, until it hits green, and they can charge the batteries, 
and their cell phones all day long. And then at night, they have the batteries to use the Doppler and the headlamp, and then also have all the light hours on for the battery. Good. And then this guy explains all that. Oh, this red switch is for the appliances, so if you want to be using them, you need the red switch. It explains to them when to use it. The appliances, what's that? Things like the batteries or the cell phones. Um, the, the, those chargers. Yeah. And, and, and what is, what's this red and black here? Are these like, uh. can be used to attach an ex external battery if needed, like even a car battery. Oh, uh, right. Would you, are charging it or what? Um, you could use it. It looks like battery. this charging yes. unit, so you, yeah, it can you be leads. It. Yeah. You could use it. We haven't been trained on how to do that. But it is a possible function of this that they could look into if they were interested. Right. Just like the, the charging ports are outputting power, this is outputting power. You right, just exactly. And when you flip the switch, it would be outputting right. power. And then the battery also can be taken out very easily with this strap. Mm -hmm. um, it's the majority of the weight in the suitcase. So when we're traveling far distances, we'll probably take the battery out and one person will carry the battery and one person will carry the suitcase because... It's the majority of the way. Okay. And the back explains everything to them. See, this is what the batteries look like that you couldn't see. You could put an extra battery in there. Headlamp, field Doppler. You could charge phones and laptops. There's the two lamps. This is the charge controller. This is the home run wire that connects to the solar panels. That's it. A picture is worth a thousand words. Exactly. Okay, great. Well, you have to put that behind the uh, solar... Uh, panels. All right. Thank you for the explanation. When are you leaving? Sunday. <laughs> How many hours does it take to get there? 17 hours in the air, an eight hour time difference, and three hour layover. <laughs> All right. Very Have a good trip. See you after you come back. Bye. Bye. <laughs>